Hello everyone. This is Mystic Goddess with your general reading. So today we're going to see how the person that is on your mind when it comes to love truly feels about you currently. This reading is for everyone of every zodiac sign, so feel free to switch the energies around as needed. All right, so I've meditated over the energy and I've shuffled the deck, so let's go ahead and get started. The overall energy for how this person truly feels about you currently, we have work, risk, we also have the six of cups, and we have the three of pentacles here. All right, so when it comes to this person's true feelings for you, they are wanting to work things out with you. For some of you, this person is hoping that you can reconcile any past differences, okay? They are wanting you to take a risk with them, and they're hoping that the two of you can cooperate with one another. So I feel like when it comes to this person, they want basically for the two of you to compromise, because for some of you, they feel like there's something from the past that you're not letting go of. Also, I feel like when it comes to this person, the past is playing a huge role here because I feel as though a lot of you, however this person did you in the past or whatever you went through, it's playing a huge role in the decisions that you're making today, okay? But this person feels as though if you would just go back to the way you used to be, then the two of you would be able to work things out. And I feel like that's a problem because a lot of you have grown. You have put in a lot of work in order to elevate or in order to ascend. Okay. But there's someone that wants you to be the old you or to be who you used to be. And for a lot of you, that's just something that you don't need to go back to, okay? Also, there's there's three people on both of these cards. See, there's another person lurking over there. And then on this card, there's three people. So for some of you, I feel like at some point in time, this person may have put you in a third party situation, okay? For others of you, this person could be dealing with someone else right now. But regardless, they are wanting to reconcile or they're wanting to make things work. They're wanting you to take a risk with them. For some of you, I feel like this person, they're obsessing over whether you have any friends with benefits or if you're having sex with another person. They obsess over that. And it's mainly because they know that they play games with you. So this person is wondering what you're up to, especially when you're distant from them. So any of you that have been distant from this person or if you have um, just withdrawn from them. And for others of you, even if you are currently dealing with this person, but there are times that you like to be alone, they wonder what you're up to. Whenever you're not dealing with them, they wonder or whenever you're not... Um, being like really lovey-dovey and intimate with them, they wonder what you're doing. But they think that you're having sex with another person and it's driving them crazy. Hmm. For some of you, they wonder because they feel like you're rejecting, rejecting them or you keep rejecting what they have to offer. That's not for everyone, but for some of you, they feel like you're not accepting what they're offering you. So that makes them think that you're dealing with another person. And for others of you, it's because they play games with you. So it's almost like they feel like their past is coming back to haunt them. Now that they want things to work with you, they feel like you are doing something with someone else. Doesn't make it true. That's just how this person feels. Okay. But yeah, so someone is wanting you to go back to how you used to be. They're wanting you to have very fond memories of them in regards to the past, like when things were going good between the two of you. But I feel like for some of you, in order to make things work with this person or in order for the two of you to have a harmonious connection, there are a lot of red flags that you had to ignore, okay? 
it's almost like you had to risk your heart in order to make things work with this person. But yeah, someone is definitely wanting to heal things with you. I feel as though this person, in their mind, they feel as though there's only a matter of time before the two of you are in a relationship or before or until the two of you end up getting married. Now, if you're already married to this person, they like to stay married. But someone feels as though you are the one for them. Like they feel like they're supposed to marry you at some point. Hmm. You bring a lot of peace to this person. Your energy is very healing. Okay. I feel like. For some of you, one reason why this person really wants to be with you is because they see you as a nurturer. Some of you are the type that you make sure anyone around you that you really truly care about you make sure that those people are good whether it's financially whether it's just checking up on them whether it's always being there this is someone that feels as though you'll always be there okay but i feel as though when you were wanting to invest with this person when you were ignoring some of the red flags i feel like this person made you feel like they weren't attracted to you anymore it's almost like they wanted you to chase them at some point in time. Hmm. But I'm letting you know now, if you were to start investing long term with this person, like if the two of you were to get a home together, because that's what they're wanting. If you were to get a home with this person or if you were to decide to um, accept a commitment with them, I feel like once this person gets you where they want you, once they feel like they've conquered you, you're going to notice that this person's energy starts to shift, okay? They keep a very close eye on you because they feel as though you're hiding secrets. They feel like you're making moves that they don't know about. Hmm. Someone spies on you very heavily. Also, this person is very vigilant when it comes to you. Like, I feel like, be careful about telling this person anything very personal or any secrets this person talks too much they're a gossiper they like to talk they'll tell your business hmm. and for some of you especially if they were to get pissed off at you or something like that they'll tell people things about you they'll They'll expose your secrets in order for people to judge you, okay? Or in order to change the way that people view you. Wow. But someone's very nosy when it comes to you. Like, they want to know your every move. I feel like that makes this person feel in control. Hmm. The will of fortune. So, yeah, they feel like there's only a matter of time before the two of you heal things. You're very different from anyone that this person has dealt with in their past. I feel like that's why it's so hard for this person to let go of you. They definitely stress a lot. They worry. They may even experience anxiety in regards to whether you have new love. They feel as though you have other options besides them. And they're worried about who you're going to choose to be with. Because I feel like this is someone that does not want you to love anyone else the way that you love them. Hmm. This person also, um, they stress out about how things are going to go in their life in general and also in regards to you they also feel like you don't love them the same way anymore hmm there's another lover in the mix here now for some of you you either found out about another lover or this person is spying on you to see if you have another lover now for some of you it's them that has someone else and for others it's you that have someone else take it however it fits Okay, but there's someone else in the mix here. If it's them um, that has another lover, they're in love with you. They're in love with you and they can't shake the attraction. They feel like you're their soulmate, but this person is definitely spying to see if you have someone else. And if you do have another person, they're trying to find out things about that other person. 
okay they're spying on the lover as well now for some of you if you know that they have another lover their other lover is trying to find out information about you okay but yeah they feel like you have someone else and you're keeping it to your chest like you're not divulging much information or they feel as though you are blocking your feelings in regards to them because you have someone else like i said it doesn't make it true but regardless, I feel as though this person is holding on to you because they see you as their Ten of Cups. So they don't want you living a life with anyone else, especially not a happy life. Okay, they want you to be with them. Also, someone likes to dominate over you. Um, This is the type of person that will use sex to keep you or put you in your feelings. Also, I feel as though they can come off as very aggressive okay this is someone that likes for you to submit to them they like having things their way my way or no way type of attitude i also feel like this is someone that um i feel like they like to keep you in your feelings or they like to make sure that you're drunk in love okay like head over heels for them because they feel as though as long as you're in your feelings as long as you as long as they know that you're emotional when it comes to them they feel like they can have their way with you okay so that's a lot okay <laughs> that is a lot but there's someone here that wants full control over you but they want you to because for some of you in the past you may have let this person have their way a little bit okay you may have let them have their way a little bit or I feel like you were just ignoring some red flags. You were willing to take a risk in order to make things work. But you guys have worked on yourself now. Like you've evolved, you've grown a lot. And so um, a lot of you couldn't go back to who you were even if you wanted to. And for those of you that are willing to go back to your past self or those past behaviors, if you're not careful, things won't work out for your highest good because... This is someone, it's all about them and what they want. They'll make it seem as though, okay, let's work together. Let's compromise, you know, so that we can make things work. But in reality, this is someone that wants things their way. Okay. They want you to do it their way. So let's see what else comes out here. All right. Give me more messages, please. Holy Spirit, when it comes to this person. What is this person's true feelings for my viewers currently when it comes to love at the time that my viewers watch this video? What is this person's true feelings for my viewers? Two more shuffles. All right. So let's see what else comes out here. All right, so at the bottom of the deck, we have attraction. So this person is very attracted to you, okay? Very attracted to you, and that's why they want to restrict you. They don't want anyone else having access to your heart, okay? Hmm. So they want you to be closed off when it comes to anyone else that's even attracted to you. This person wants you all to themselves. Hmm. I also feel like for some of you they're very attracted to you but they don't let you know how attracted to you they really are hmm there's something about this person not wanting to be vulnerable when it comes to you give me more what is this person's true feelings for my viewers thank you so we have new beginnings. See, they're wanting a new beginning. But there is shadow work that needs to be done here. Possibly on this person's part, but on your part as well. Some of you may have some shadow work that you're doing. Or this person may have a tendency to bring um, or to trigger certain shadow aspects that you need to work on. Okay. But I feel like this person, before the two of you can have a healthy new beginning, they need to explore their inner darkness. Because for some of you, I feel like that's one reason why you're 
feeling like you need to leave this person hanging or for those of you that did leave this person behind or if you're wanting to, I feel like it's because of their shadow self, okay? It's almost like trying to deal with this person or trying to save them, it will cause you to shatter, shatter your own heart. For some of you, this person may have even left you hanging or that's one of their shadow aspects. It's kind of narcissistic, but I feel like for some of you, whenever you don't do things this person's way, I feel like they'll ghost you, leave you hanging, or they'll stop communicating with you as much, or um, they won't communicate with you on a consistent basis. They'll just make you feel like they're getting away or like they're leaving you hanging. For some of you, they may have done this, okay? Wow. Give me one more card. What is this person's true feelings for my viewers currently when it comes to love? But they are wanting a new beginning with you. Wow, we have a few that came out. All right, so we have skepticism and that card came out in reverse. This card is all about trusting the connection. Give me time to trust this connection. And see, that card came out in reverse. So someone wants to rush a reconciliation here. They don't want you to think about it. Okay, they don't want to give you time to think. Also, I feel like this person, even though you don't trust them, they want you to trust them. Okay. It's almost like they're trying to make it seem as though you don't have any reason to trust them or to not trust them. Like you don't have any reason not to trust them. But this card fell out on top of the Six of Cups. So there's something from the past that's making you not trust this person. There's something that they've done or something that you've gone through. Hmm. But this person, they really feel like things will never be over. Like this story, this love story between the two of you will never really end. Okay. But they're wanting to start a new chapter with you. So it's up to you whether you decide to reconcile with this person or make things work with them. But I feel like spirit is letting you know with this restricted card. Because some of you have a very strong attraction to this person. Okay. But spirit wants you to guard your heart. Because I feel like um, with all of the cards coming out with that third party energy, I don't really like that. Um, I do feel like this person is genuine with wanting things to work, but they're too risky right now. And then I just feel like this person wants you to think that you have no reason to be skeptical or you have no reason to not trust them when they've shown you who they truly are and how they truly move in the past. But they don't want you to judge them based off of the past. But that's all you have to go by. <laughs> I mean, that's all you have to go by is how they did you in the past. Or the things that you've gone through in the past. But this person, they just want you to have a new beginning. They want you to have this blind trust when it comes to them. Okay? But I feel like this is someone that doesn't want anyone else to have you. Or they don't want to see you loving anyone else the way that you love them. Hmm. All right, so that is the reading, everyone. If you guys resonated with this or if you liked this reading, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you as a part of the Mystic family. I love each and every one of you guys so, so much. You take care. Be safe. Until next time, bye.